Shalom Avracha. Little children of our Maker, how are you doing? We're now standing in front of the great, great Mediterranean Sea, the large ocean. Happy to be here, the Holy Land of Israel. Just remember that around 210 years ago when Rabbi Nachman of Breslev visited the land of Israel, so when he came with his ship to the Holy Land, so the Turkish that were controlling the borders here in the sea did not let him in in Akko port. So he had to stay on the ship and come to the next stop and it was now when I'm thinking about it it was exactly in this area, maybe even just here. Maybe the ancient and old port was here. And why am I saying that? And over here was the place that he came down off the, off the ship, of the boat, to the Holy Land of Israel and achieved great things. And why am I saying that it might be here? Because over there, you can see, On the other side of this mountain is the cave that Elijah the prophet was praying and having his individual prayers with our Maker, with our God. It's called Me'arat Eliyahu Anavi, the cave of Elijah the prophet. And it is mentioned that Rabbi Nachman went off the ship exactly in front of that cave. Today we've tried to go and visit the cave of Elijah the Prophet and that's why we're here. But it is closed for renovation. We took some pictures and tried to connect ourselves with the Creator a little bit from outside. Hopefully soon it will be reopened for the public. Thank you Hashem for allowing us to be one with you, to remember you, to see your greatness, to experience moments of quiet, be able to breathe and to relax as much as we can, to reset our thoughts and our minds to your existence, to your true unconditional love that is reviving us and planting hope in our hearts to come closer to you every day more and more again and again. Please remember that the individual prayer, the conversation with our Maker is the strongest attachment that a person can have with God. Through the prayer we are able to connect our soul to our Maker and to become one with Him, to nullify ourselves completely to Him to be happy. To be happy to be His creations. In front of nature we can see the greatness of the Creator and that's why it's very nice and good to walk outside to the beautiful areas of nature where His creation is not mixed and involved and covered with men, handmaids, plasters and coverings, just the real naked truth of the Creator's will. In those quiet places we should just talk to our Maker like we talk to our best friend. Talk to Him from the heart, simple words of prayer. 
If you find it hard, you can always search on YouTube or in our emuna.com website. You can write Rav Dror prayer and immediately, or Rav Dror hit bodedut, Rav Dror individual prayer, and immediately you'll find more videos that will explain and will give nice examples on how to talk to our Maker in simplicity. Just to express your heart, your feelings, your needs, to tell Him what you need, what you feel, to praise Him, to thank Him, and as well to cry, and to complain and to fight if that's what you have in your heart, to be totally honest and truthful in front of God. And may He answer to all our prayers and requests and will be answered and redeemed in our days. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth, see the good. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can you kick you down, down to the ground, hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the Creator, holy soul inside, focus on the spiritual and you shall.